welcome to a presentation on k-maps. In this video we'll be looking at truth tables, logic functions, and then finally get into reducing logic functions with k-maps. So I'm sure everyone's seen truth tables, but what you might not have seen is this middle column with the output number. Truth tables should always be arranged in order. If you consider the input variables like bits in a binary number, you can get this output number. You can order the inputs by this binary number, and this will standardize the truth table and ensure that all inputs are covered. To find a logical expression for the function, combine all the entries at output 1 with ORs. You can see that these variables output a 1. That is A0, B0, C, and D0. And you can combine this with the rest of the terms that output 1 to find the full function. So how do you simplify? Notice that these two entries both output 1, but they differ only by one variable. The rest are the same. That gives us these two terms. But because they are almost the same, we can pull out the a0, b0, and c. And notice that d0 or d just simplifies to 1. So we can satisfy both outputs with just one term. In general, if two inputs differ by one variable but have the same output, it can be simplified by removing the redundant variable. And that's where k-maps come in. I'll get more into reading these on the next slide, but for now, recognize that this grid here of tiles has all the different combinations of inputs, and that each combination tile is connected to other tiles that differ by only one variable. This will help us simplify later. So how do we get a k-map out of a truth table? Well, just like the truth table, the k-map has to represent all of the different possible inputs. On the top, we have all the different combinations of A and B, and vertically, we have all the combinations of C and D. So combining them in a matrix gives us all the combinations of both. Here, I've replaced all of them with the output numbers. If I wanted to get output number 6, I would have to look for 0, 1, 1, 0, 6 in binary, and that's right here. Of course, normally you don't put the output numbers on a truth table, and you don't put them on a k-map. Instead, you just put the output value. And here we can see all of the output values in the proper spaces. So now that we have our k-map, how do we use it to reduce our function? Well, remember that on a k-map, every tile is touching other tiles that differ by only one variable. And if two inputs differ by one variable, but give the same output, they can be reduced. Therefore, if a one tile is touching another one tile on a k-map, it can be reduced. Let's consider these two tiles. We can see that the first one is A0, B0, C, and D. And the second one is A0, B0, C, and D0. They both give the same output of one, but differ by the d variable. Therefore, the d variable is redundant and the outputs can be reduced to a0, b0, and c. The same reduction we got looking at our truth table. Next, let's consider this group. This group shows that when the inputs include c and d0, the output does not depend on a or b. This group can be reduced to just c, d0. In order to have a complete function, we have to map all of the outputs. So we need to include just one more output to finish the function. This last group is just like the first one. In fact, it only differs by one variable. K-maps loop around on themselves, meaning we can combine the first and the last group like so. Now the complete and reduced function is b not c or c d not. When grouping on a k-map, you need to remember these three rules. The group must be rectangular, the group must contain the same output, and the group must contain an area equal to a power of 2. 
Let's try another example with don't cares. An x represents a don't care, meaning the output can be whatever makes the logic simpler. Just looking at the truth table, it can be tempting to ignore the don't cares because it is hard to see how they might simplify the logic. Converting the truth table into a k-map will show the simplifications that can be made. The larger the group, the better the simplification. We can use the don't cares to create this group of six. Unfortunately, this group does not follow one of the grouping rules, that being the area must be a power of two. So we can choose to eliminate the A variable with this group or the B variable with this group. Both use the same number of variables, so the simplifications are equally valid and both will be accepted. Meaning a reduced function is either B and D or A naught and D. So some key things to remember from this presentation. Enter and read k-maps like a graph. Find the column with the AB pair and the row from the CD pair. Each box must differ by only one variable to every connected box. You can just memorize the order 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, and 1, 0 for the row and columns. To find the minimal logic expression, cover all of the one outputs with the smallest number of groups possible. Groups must follow these rules. They must be rectangular, they must contain only the same output, and the area must be a power of 2. Remember that groups can loop around the map. And just for fun, you can also solve for the inverted function by grouping zeros. And that's the conclusion of our presentation. Thank you for watching and hope to see you next time.